We are now joined by Laya Mahajwari, who is a student at the London School of Economics. You are the winner of this year's essay competition of the St. Gallen Wings of Excellence Award. And in your uh, essay, you say that the next small big thing is a series of small things. But why do you actually think so? Um, the title of the essay is actually a reaction I had to the question when I read it for the first time. The question asks of the respondents, what is the next small big thing? And I had a reaction to this where I felt that maybe instead of hunting obsessively for something that is big, just because it's big, we should recognize that innovations or solutions or challenges can come from anywhere. They, don't, they can be small, they can be big, depending on the problem they address depending on the challenge that they are tackling. So if that means the next big thing isn't actually one big thing, but a series of small steps that we that we aggregate, then so be it. Which is why the essay is called The Next Big Thing is a Series of Small Things. You stated that we often only focus on doing great things that prove actually useless in the end, rather than repairing the smaller parts. And why do you think we do it anyway? Uh, Okay, so in my essay I talk about how there's an instinctive appeal to big ideas, which, which makes it understandable why someone would want to focus on big ideas. A big idea gets you headlines, a big idea gets you attention, a big idea by definition is glitzy or glamorous, because people may not have thought of it before. So it is very attractive to try and think of a big idea. It's even more fun to think about, because you're thinking of something that hasn't been thought of before. But when you think about the solution that people have already come up with, that people have already suggested, then and you take into account the fact that they may not be that fun, they may not be that gimmicky, they may not be that sexy, uh, who in their right mind feels that repairing a building is just as much fun and just as glamorous as building a new thing from scratch, from bottom to top. Which is why I do appreciate why people keep turning to big ideas or why people would hunt for big ideas. I call for that to take a pause or for us to take a step back in my essay. And you also say that people usually just go back to adhering to checklists, but you think that this should not be done. And what would be your recipe to get away from that process? Okay. Uh, yes, in my essay I point out one flaw that's uh, common across many big ideas which have, which have failed and which I cite in my essay, which is that when you're implementing a big idea, there's so much at stake. There's so many players, so many resources, so many agents involved. You need to find some way to evaluate it or you need to find some way to track it, to just find out where you are. And often the steps to track a big idea have been something that lets you know you are winning the battle but doesn't let you know if you're winning the war. So, in men, for example, one example I cite in my essay is that uh, for many countries, the one thing the Ministry of Education of the Constitution has done is made universal primary enrollment compulsory in schools and free, which is a great thing, which is a great progress, which is a great step in ensuring that illiteracy is reduced and removed. But just ensuring people sit in schools doesn't mean that people will learn in those schools. But it's easier to check if your brother or if your sister is sitting in a school than it is to check whether she was awake in class or she understood what the teacher was saying or that she actually did her homework properly. So, it, again, it, it is understandable why someone would want to focus on checklists. I hope we can instead move from process to impact, to look at the results of the program, to look at what the program has achieved, even if that is not easily categorizable, even if that doesn't easily fall into numbers or steps or chick tick marks, if it's qualitative, if it's a bit murky, if it involves a gray area and not black and white, that doesn't mean we should not do it. We should find ways of adapting to it and trying to fit it. Thank you very much for your further elaboration and congratulations again on winning the essay competition. Thank you. Thank you.